it's now, and I'm going to be very brief, uh, it's now my great pleasure to introduce uh, the mayor of Athens, Kostas Bakoyanis, uh, who's a big believer in a green and dynamic Athens and does not believe that COVID uh, and, the, and migration out of cities meant the death of cities. And I think looking around, we can see what a vital uh, and important moment the city is living. So without further ado, if I may, um, please would you come up here, uh, Mayor Bakoyanis. <laughs> And I would like to thank you for joining us at this award ceremony. Now, I'm, more, I'm sure that all of you feel that you know him. Actually, the whole world feels that they know him, inspiring millions and millions and millions in Athens, in Greece, in Europe and beyond to root for Ukraine's victory. Since Russia unlawfully invaded the country in February, President Zelensky has masterfully paired the everyman charisma with his uncommon social media savvy, bridging physical distance, breaking national, cultural, or language barriers, and meanwhile, impressively fighting against the odds, disproving predictions, and making the impossible possible. His language, ladies and gentlemen, is universal. It is the language of defiance. It is the language of dignity. It's a language of an unfolding good humor. A language that moves us all as it stands against barbarism and has become a symbol of the heroism of the Ukrainian people. It is a language of moral courage that is particularly familiar, if I may say so, to us Greeks, who often in our history have found ourselves as Davids against the Goliaths, and have also fought hard, proving that might does not make right. Let's not forget that the call freedom or death heard in Ukraine today strikes a chord for us Greeks who celebrated last year our bicentennial of the Greek Revolution. It is most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, the language of words that, is, that are backed with deeds, deeds of steel, historic and heroic deeds. It all began at the night of the 24th of February when Russians started their advance on Kiev. President Zelensky knew that he would be their target. He could have left Kiev. Arguably, the survival of the Ukrainian state depended on the survival of its president. But he chose to stay. He chose to stay in Kiev. And he famously proclaimed that I don't need a ride, I need weapons. And that was the very first link in a long chain of great feats and good works. Ukrainian men and women, young and old, reminded us all, however trapped we are in cynicism and disenchantment, that heroes are not only those who wear capes. Heroes walk amongst us. Heroes are ordinary people who choose to do extraordinary things. Heroes are those who, in moments of supreme crisis, face the ultimate test of leadership and prevail. They prevail upon themselves and upon others. Heroes for a noble cause. I had the opportunity to witness the bravery and spirit, 
the ethos in the Aristotelian sense of the Ukrainian people during an eye-opening visit to Kiev just a few weeks ago, along with a delegation of fellow European mayors and accompanied by Ivan Fedorov, the mayor of Melitopol, who was actually kidnapped, imprisoned, and tortured by the occupiers, we toured the carnage and met with our friend and colleague, the mayor of Kiev, Vitali, a giant with a heart of gold, and President Zelensky and his team. Experiencing two air raids in a few hours, and yet seeing everyone, everyone, mothers with their kids, children in schools, shop owners, professionals, workers, just go on with their daily business of living their lives was truly unforgettable and inspiring. So make no mistake, these people will not and cannot be broken. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, the city of Athens proudly bestows the 2022 Democracy Award on President Zelensky and the Ukrainian people fighting courageously in the front line. They're not just fighting for their freedom, for their sovereignty, and for their independence. They're not just fighting for a people's right to choose their own path and live their own life. They are fighting for our European values, the very idea that was born in this city 2,500 years ago. Democracy. This very, very simple notion that the rule of the many is always better than the rule of one. This very, very simple notion that for humanity to evolve and progress, one needs the safety quoted by Winston Churchill, that when somebody knocks on our door in early morning, we know it's a milkman. They are fighting for all of us. After all, this war is targeting our unity and our future. Winter is coming. Maybe a cliche, but it's true. And the coming months will be far from easy. Against this aggression, determination and strength is needed. And Athens stands with Kiev. Mr. Ambassador, we're looking forward to welcoming President Zelensky in Athens at a time of peace. And we are thankful that he has chosen to share a video message with all of us. Shanomna Pani President. Madam President, fellow participants of this forum, all those who cherish the democratic system and wish to keep it for generations to come. There are many debates in the world nowadays about democracy, what imperils democracy and how to defend it. And what exactly should be done for democracy to win under global confrontation? People feel the approach of a decisive moment in a centuries-old confrontation between democracy and uh, tyranny. It is therefore that I wish to share my confidence with the Athens Democracy Forum that we can guarantee the future of democracy just as we can protect it. We can do this because we know what brings the strength to democracy, what lies in the heart of it, what sources the freedom for every bit of a democratic society and every single person. It is unity. This is the most important aspect. Democracy is about the rule of law, the respect, the procedures and the equality of the free and freedom for all. But it is the unit keeps it all run and full with true freedom. The unity makes democracy alone. 
in case of the fully atomized and eliminated societies lacking the stable connections between the nations when someone might fail to give a helping hand to others in need the democracy weakens subsides and falls apart we've already seen this many times in our history the case of a small but energetic and highly united tyrannical minority of party being able to oppress the society of people without the unity and trust we have seen some democracies deciding to stand aside while others democracies were threatened eventually all of them would have to face the threat even those not affected by it at the beginning we have seen that people may become disappointed with democracy should they feel inequality and humiliation or a lack of emotional connection with those in power it might turn into a fascination with someone autocratic now then what a tyrant starts destroying his own society to preserve their personal power this is exactly what has been happening in Russia over the past 30 years. Therefore, unity stands for a universal response, a unity in society for the people to feel a connection with each other, to have something in common that would grow and bring more freedom, more comfort and more well-being, a unity between societies and states. All democracies should act in unity as a joint community of all and help one another in times of need. It is not only a matter of relations between the leaders of states or the presence or absence of historic ties, but a matter of fighting for a democratic system. Should we stay and act together, no one would become an overwhelming threat to us. This is something you can see about the war unleashed by Russia against our people and against our common democratic system. The more unity we have, the more tangible are Russian defeats. The third element, this is very important for every democratic state, is the unity between those in power and those who gave them such power. Democracy resides in no government offices, not even in the parliament chamber. Democracy lives among people. That is why it is so important to avoid having isolated groups within societies, like privileged groups or unintegrated minorities. After the full-scale invasion of Russia into Ukraine, we have managed to build the greatest unit of Europe and the democratic community of the world. But there is more that can be achieved. We have much work to do to reinforce our unity and every step we make would bring more protection for democracy. Not just somewhere, not just in some country, but in general for all of us and for our children for all three nations, forever free. I thank you for your attention. I thank Greece for your great support. It is a great honor for me to accept the award of the city of Athens for the Ukrainian people for our contribution to the protection of democratic values. Glory to Ukraine! It is an honor for me to present you with the award of the City of Athens.